and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Hope and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So today I am coming at you with my four month hair growth update. It feels like four of the longest months of my life to be honest for some reason. I really have no complaints whatsoever about my hair growth. I'm pretty happy with it I guess like there's nothing necessarily going wrong with my growth journey and honestly with natural hair and just growing natural hair as long as your hair is moisturized, it's healthy, your scalp most importantly is healthy you're on a good track, like you're going in the right direction. In terms of styling my hair, to be honest guys, I've been so freaking bored. I've been so bored. I can't tell you how many times, like it's been the weekend. And the weekends last year for me were like fresh cuts. Like, you know, I knew that I could like go in, get a fresh style or kind of shape up and freshen up an old style that I was already wearing. And I can't cut my hair and I'm kind of like I don't know how to feel about that I'm so impulsive with my hair and especially when it comes to cutting my hair I'm just like I don't care like chop chop color it whatever it is like I will do it to my hair and because I'm kind of in this growth journey and I want to make sure that my hair and my scalp they're you know just as healthy as possible I can't do any of those things and um, I feel extremely restricted and I don't like that aspect of my growth journey and mind you it's not like anybody's holding a gun to my head I completely understand I'm doing this because I want to and also because I dealt with hair loss and hair thinning and I really just wanted to make sure that I was healthy my scalp was healthy my hair was healthy and all that and I couldn't really do that and manipulate my hair in the way that I was doing last year so I'm just letting my hair breathe okay just taking a moment to pause Wusa, and just flourish without me tampering with it too much, okay? So, I know I spoke previously about my current routine and that is loosely that I'm washing my hair twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, and I say loosely because I have fallen off that horse many a time. There are some Wednesdays, Sundays that fly by and I don't wash my hair. There are some days where I'm not necessarily washing my hair, but I'm wetting my hair or co-washing like two or three days in a row. It honestly just depends on what styles I'm doing at that moment. Like if I'm doing lots of wash and goes, like I don't necessarily do wash and goes every day, but if I'm going out and I want my hair to be cute, or if I'm taking pictures and I want my hair to be cute, or it's an event, like whatever it is, and I just like, I want my hair to look a certain type of way. I'm really, really heavy handed with products. And because of that, I wind up wanting to kind of rinse some of that product out the next day or that night and then add more. And I'm not necessarily washing my hair, but I'm co-washing sometimes. And other times I'm just wetting my hair to rinse some of the product out. However, I do wash my hair like with shampoo at least once a week. Um, that's definitely a given. I haven't clarified my hair in a while and I think I'm gonna do that um, sometime this month. And if you guys want me to film that video, I definitely would be happy to. I'm probably just gonna go in and do a clay hair mask. I made a video about that already. So if you wanna see that, I will link it below and I will also link it above here as well. So if you've been rocking with me for the past several months at the very least, you know, as I already stated, that I dealt with hair loss and hair thinning, and one of the most important things for me was addressing that issue, okay? Because nobody wants to be out here dealing with hair loss and hair thinning if they don't have to. So I created this hair growth and dry scalp serum, and hold on, I will get it and put it right here in just a second. See, voila, just like magic, it's right here. So this is, can you guys see that? Is it focusing? Is that focusing? There we go. So this is my hair growth and dry scalp serum. And I'm so happy, like over the moon, that so many of you have tried this for either hair growth or dry scalp or both. And you found so much success with it in the same way that I've found success with using the serum for myself. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions from men in particular, like, does it work for men? Is it for men? And it's like, yes, this is, this has nothing to do with whether you're a female or male or however you identify. Like, it's just for your scalp. It is a scalp treatment. And I think just reading your reviews has been 
the highlight of my year because it's something that I created to address a very sensitive issue of hair loss. So long story short, this has been a staple in my hair growth routine for the past several months actually. Um, and if you want it for yourself, you can buy it from my shop on Etsy. I will link it below and up here again. <laughs> You'll see the link pop up up there. But if you wanna just click it later after this video, you can go down in my description box. You'll find links to everything, products, whatever I mentioned and I say there's gonna be a link, it'll be in my description box, so make sure you check that out. Um, another thing that I'm really, really cognizant of is making sure that my hair is moisturized at all times. So many people talk to me about having dry, dry hair. And just as a basic rule of thumb, if you're not doing anything extra with your hair, you're not doing extra deep conditioning treatments, you're not clarifying your hair, you want to make sure that whenever your hair feels dry or you feel like it's about to feel dry, that you do these three things. You want to wet it with water. Get your hair a little bit damp. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, just a little damp. Water is your best friend. It's your first moisturizer. It's the best type of moisturizer, so use that first. Then you wanna go in with a water-based moisturizer. After you go in with a water-based moisturizer, you can seal it with an oil of your choice. If you have low porosity hair, you can use a lightweight oil like extra virgin olive oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil. Um, and also you can play around with heavier oils like Jamaican black castor oil or just straight up castor oil. It's up to you. See what your hair responds to the best. If you have high porosity hair, you do want to stick to those thicker oils like Jamaican black castor oil. Extra virgin olive oil works for any type of porosity, normal, low, high, whatever. It's just great because it actually penetrates the hair shaft and it's a very moisturizing oil so it won't just sit on top of your hair making it greasy. It'll actually get in there with all of its nutrients and vitamins and help your hair to flourish and not be crispy and that's always a forever goal, right? If you have no idea what kind of porosity hair you have, guess what? I have a video about low, normal, high porosity hair. I also have a video about how to best uh, moisturize low, normal, and high porosity hair as well, and I will put the links to those videos below. So I think if you don't do anything else to your natural hair, you're not big on wash and goes, you're not big on styling, in the very least, if you're trying to grow healthy natural hair, you want to keep it moisturized and you want to start by knowing your hair's porosity because you will never ever be able to properly moisturize your hair if you don't even know your hair's porosity and know what your hair likes because of its porosity. I hope that makes sense. I want to give you guys some close-up shots of my hair growth and I'll probably do a voiceover for this part. Um, as I kind of like show length. Should I be really obnoxious and get measuring tape? I think I'm gonna get measuring tape. Hold on one second. So I have my measuring tape here and actually before I measure my hair, I kind of want to talk about my personal hopes for my hair growth right now. I'm hoping that I have at least two inches of hair. The reason why I'm hoping I have at least two inches of hair is because in the past, I've learned that my hair typically grows about half an inch a month. So if it's been four months, that means I should be at about two inches of growth because, you know, by two months I had one inch, hypothetically speaking, I didn't measure it, and by four months I should have added another inch. We got that math out of the way. You guys get the picture. The standard um, hair growth rate, I think it varies from about a quarter of an inch to about a half inch a month. A quarter inch is like on the slower end, half inch is on the faster end. I don't really think that somebody would grow naturally an inch of hair per month like nobody's you know shaving off their hair in January and has 12 inches by December like that doesn't really happen what you can get is basically up to six inches per year so that's what I'm pretty much aiming for so that by this December I'll have about six inches of natural hair so let's see where I am now so I decided to just pull a little bit of hair in the front you guys know shrinkage is real so you really can't see my full growth but let's whip out this measuring tape and see if I made it to my two inches. So what I basically just tried to do was put it at the root of my hair where I was pulling that clump of hair and pull it down. Mind you, this is like a little bit of hair so it's kind of hard to do. But as you can see, I am actually almost hitting two inches. It's lit. I want to call it two inches, but I also want to call it like an inch and three quarters. Honestly, I'm close enough to two inches and kind of just like my goal length that it, it works for me. I'm not going to complain about it. 
like my scalp is healthy, my hair is growing, I have absolutely zero complaints and I'm just loving this journey thus far. Six months, you can catch me flipping my hair like so. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.